Hi everyone, Mark Tewksbury here, and welcome to Queer Queries, where I will try to answer questions that sometimes even gay people don't know the answers to. So the first query out of the gate is, who is Canada's first out Olympian? No, this is not a trick question. It's me, Mark Tewksbury! <laughs> I thought this would be a great place to start, especially for people who've never met me before. And just to show you I've got the proof, I recent, re, re, recently received this great book called Proud to Play, Canadian LGBTQ plus athletes who made history. And I'm so proud to be the very first story, Canada's first out Olympic champion, Mark Tewksbury. So I was a swimmer. I was on the national team from 1985 to 1993. I competed in two Olympics. The first was in 1988 in Seoul, Korea. I won a silver medal as part of a relay. I went back four years later to Barcelona in Spain. I won a bronze again on the relay, and I won a, a gold medal in the 100 meter backstroke. Yay! <laughs> when I was swimming, I was a closeted athlete. Um, thankfully, I had one mentor and coach, Debbie Muir, that I shared my secret with, and she helped me create a space that I gained the strength to reach some of the achievements that I did. But you know, I always knew there were gay athletes out there but they tended to come into the public eye through some difficult circumstances. I remember lawsuits against Billie Jean King and Martina Navratilova and even Brian Orser here in Canada. I remember watching Greg Luganis on a talk show where he made the revelation that he was HIV positive when he hit his head on the diving board in Seoul, Korea at those 1988 Olympics. I myself never imagined I would speak so publicly about such a private matter. But in 1998, I was facing some discrimination and I just thought enough was enough. I'd been invited to do a presentation at a big corporate showcase and it was held in a theater. And so I arrived and I surprised everybody with my newly dyed blonde hair. And okay, maybe I bounced onto the stage to Abba's Dancing Queen. <laughs> but somebody in the audience was like, man, that guy's way too gay and I'm gonna fire him from the job that I've hired him for. And when I faced that discrimination, I thought, you know, I'm tired of people telling me what I can and can't say and me feeling like I didn't have any integrity with my own self about my sexuality. And so I decided to come out. It started a really difficult conversation at that time, gays in sport. But what I'm most proud of, I'm not on the cover of this book. That's Anastasia Buses, a speed skater that came out before Sochi in 2014. She's the next generation. And that makes me feel so great. There's her and eight other important stories after her and hundreds of stories being written every day in the changing landscape of sport. I think one of the biggest successes for me is my own sport of swimming has its next generation open athletes. Martha McCabe is an open woman and Marcus Thornmeyer as an openly gay man swimming for Team Canada right now. I'm wondering for you, who was the first LGBTQ open athlete that you ever heard of or knew? Really curious, and especially if you're in parts of the world that maybe there aren't that many, so please let me know, comment or like below, and don't forget, subscribe to the Mark Tewksbury channel.